Hey guys, this is JP with Century 21 Crystal Seller with Asker Real Estate and Mortgage Broker. So I've actually been a licensed real estate and mortgage broker since 2009. So I've got a special guest here is my friend, Rene Nerio. He's ran his own brokerage also, right? Rene, how long have you been in the business for? Uh, 25 years. 25 years. So he sold real estate in the New York, right? Yeah, for 12 and years. For 12 years and sold real estate here in California. So he knows what he's talking about. So he's gonna ask a couple questions on his point of view in terms of real estate sales or anything real estate related. So Renee, so tell me a couple questions that you got on your head right now. Uh, one of them right now, I guess, if I'm in the business now, what's the fastest way to find a client? Fastest way to find a client. The fastest way to client, I'll make it super simple for you. In one sentence, work your SOI as best as possible. So the easiest thing and the fastest way to get a client is to find someone that knows, like, and trusts you. Because when you're going out and building cold leads, you've got to first get someone to like you that you've never met before, and you've got to get that person to trust you that you've never met before. So, SOI. Okay, great. Next question. Let's see. How do I keep my mindset right throughout the day when we have so many distractions and we don't even have a schedule? Ooh, that's a problem. Schedule is the first one. First one is, if you want to keep your mindset right, you've got to have a schedule, right? So, and the biggest thing that I see with realtors when they first get in the business is they have no schedule. So they think all they have to do is walk into the office, send a couple emails out to their clients about a few properties, maybe call a couple agents for set up showings, and then write an offer, and then they're done. No, you have to have a very strict schedule that you stick to, right? It's the basics that's going to make you really successful. So you get in the office, sales meeting at 9 a.m., 9 a.m. to 9.30. You'll go in and you prospect for about an hour. You have lunch. After lunch, you prospect again. And then after lunch, you have all your appointments and basically your, your, your writing of offers and stuff. You're writing in offers and looking on the MLS. That should only take you about an hour minimum. I mean, sorry, maximum. Okay, and last question. Since we don't get a weekly paycheck, how do we keep our income consistent so that we constantly have money. Okay, so that's a really good question. So when I first got in the business, I know exactly what you're talking about, right? Where I always had anxiety because it comes up, down, up, down, you're, you have a sale, and then you close a sale because you're working so hard, and then you don't prospect. So to have the most consistent pay schedule, you have to know your metrics, and you have to prospect religiously on a consistent day-to-day -day basis. Now I'll give you an example, right? So let's say you want to make $250,000, XYZ dollars, whatever the XYZ dollars you want to make, half a million, a million dollars, right? What you need to do is figure out how much your average average sales price is, multiply it for your average uh, commission, and you'll get your average commission per unit, right? So now you have, you know how many units it's going to cost you to, to move, right? So let's say 100,000, 100,000 for easy math, and you make 10 grand, you know, you have to move 10 units, right? Does that make sense? So now you have to know how many people you have to talk to on a daily basis to generate X amount of leads. And based on the X amount of leads you, you, you receive, you should know how many you're going to convert. So a good agent should be able to convert 25% of their leads, right? So once you understand those metrics, then all you have to do is consistently prospect and hit your daily metrics, and then you'll have consistent income. So thanks, Renee. I really appreciate you coming out and you know asking some random questions. Uh, do you, is there anything else you want to add, bro, before we wrap it up? Or no. we're good? Thanks a lot, JP. It was good. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. If you guys have any questions, send me a message. And I can run those numbers with you too, guys, personally, if you want to. Give me a call. Talk to you later.